Hello, I'm Rachel Ward and this is Summer, the awning, and I'm going to read a little bit from The Cost of Living. Um, and in this extract, my hero, B, who's a supermarket checkout worker, um, is doing a little bit of investigating and she started putting a spreadsheet of suspects of somebody who may be attacking young women in the little market town of Kingsley. She's um, creating a spreadsheet on her laptop and looking at it at home. And she lives with her mum called Queenie. That's not top shot, B. B jumped and slammed the, li the laptop lid down. Queenie was standing by the side of the chair, looking down. B hadn't even noticed her coming over. That's a list of names. What are you doing? It's, I'm... Don't even try to lie to me. Just tell me the truth. B hesitated, but it was no good. She'd just have to fess up. I'm trying to find out who attacked Emma, who followed me. Queenie put her hand on B's shoulder. That's for the police to do, isn't it? I know. I'm just... I want to do something. I don't want to be scared. I want to fight back. Queenie sat down on the arm of her chair and put her arms round B. I don't want you to be scared either, she said, kissing her hair. The air around them was stuffy from the electric fire and heavy with things unsaid, unsayable. Words tiptoed to the edge of B's tongue and then retreated. How could she talk about fear with the woman who had let it disable her for years, who found the outside so overwhelming she'd stayed inside? They drew apart a little. The thing is, Queenie said, if you try to track him, track him down, love, you could put yourself in even more danger. I don't want that. I'm not going to do anything silly, Mum. I'm just going to find a name and then give it to the police. That's all. It's a small town. There are only so many people it could be. I want to prove he's not beaten me. I want to prove I'm smart enough. You're the smartest person I know. Hmm. Doesn't matter about exams and certificates. You've got it all up here, Queenie gently tapped the side of Bee's head. Not like me, empty. She balled up her hand and knocked on her own head like she was knocking on wood. They both laughed. Don't be daft, said Bee. Can't help it. Put that laptop away now. You've not had your whisper yet. Do you want to watch an old Vicar of Dibley or Gardener's World? Neither, really. Her mum carried on looking at her. These were the only choices. OK. Dibley. Dibley it is.